Hey there health enthusiasts! Today, we've got some eye-opening news about a common kitchen staple that's found its way into almost every household in the Western world, the salt shaker. Salt, a seemingly innocent seasoning, has come under the scrutiny of medical researchers due to its potential impact on our health. Stick around as we delve into a recent study conducted by Tulane University, published in the prestigious Mayo Clinic Proceedings, which reveals a startling connection between salt consumption and the development of type 2 diabetes. The salt shaker, a common presence in kitchens, restaurants, and dining rooms across the Western world, has attracted the attention of medical researchers due to its potential health implications. Salt, including table salt and other sources of added sodium, is under scrutiny for its unintended health consequences. A recent study conducted by Tulane University reveals a connection between frequent salt consumption and the development of type 2 diabetes. Published in the Mayo Clinic Proceedings, the study involved surveying over 400,000 adults in the UK regarding their salt intake. Participants were categorized into five groups based on their salt habits. Those who, never, rarely, sometimes, usually, or, always, added salt to their meals. Over a 12-year follow-up period, more than 13,000 cases of type 2 diabetes were identified among the study participants. Compared to those who reported never or rarely using salt, individuals who sometimes, usually, or always added salt to their food had a 13%, 20%, and 39% higher risk, respectively, of developing type 2 diabetes. Dr. Lu Chi, the lead author of the study and a professor at Tulane School of Public Health and Tropical Medicine, emphasized that while we already know that limiting salt can reduce the risk of cardiovascular diseases and hypertension, this study provides the first evidence that removing the salt shaker from the table can help prevent type 2 diabetes. The exact mechanism by which salt consumption may lead to type 2 diabetes remains unclear, but it is speculated that salt might encourage people to consume larger food portions, increasing the likelihood of developing conditions like obesity and inflammation, which are also risk factors for diabetes. The study also discovered a link between frequent salt consumption and higher body mass index BMI, and waist-to-hip ratio. Salt has played a historical role in flavoring and preserving food, with ancient Roman soldiers sometimes being paid with salt, giving us the term, salary. The use of salt shakers at dining tables became popular in the early 1900s, leading to increased salt consumption at the dinner table. The United States stands out as one of the world's top consumers of salt, with about 90% of Americans consuming excessive amounts of it. On average, adults in the U.S. consume around 3,400 mg of sodium per day, well above the recommended daily maximum of 2,300 mg, and even lower limits for those with kidney disease. In addition to its newly established link to type 2 diabetes, excessive salt intake is associated with high blood pressure, which is a risk factor for heart disease, stroke, and other health issues. Cutting down on salt is challenging for many people, as it is present in numerous foods, often unbeknownst to consumers. Registered dietitian Allison Brown recommends following the dietary approaches to stop hypertension, DASH, guidelines to reduce salt intake. The DASH diet emphasizes limiting fats, sugars, and high-sodium foods while focusing on fruits, vegetables, whole grains, low-fat dairy, beans, nuts, fish, lean meats, and poultry. The DASH diet is also known for its ability to reduce blood pressure and was recently ranked as the top heart-healthy diet by U.S. News & World Report. To decrease dietary salt and sodium, individuals can use herbs, spices, and flavorings like lemon, lime, vinegar, or salt-free seasoning blends instead of salt or sodium-rich seasonings like soy sauce. Reducing the consumption of high-sodium foods is crucial. These foods include processed items such as pizza, fast food, packaged mixes, and canned soups and broths. Fresh or frozen poultry, fish, and lean meats have lower sodium levels compared to marinated, canned, smoked, brined, or cured products like bacon and salami. Even seemingly innocuous items like bread, rolls, and crackers often contain substantial amounts of sodium. 
Preparing and consuming more homemade meals allows for better control over sodium intake. It's also essential to limit the use of condiments like salad dressings, ketchup, barbecue sauce, and hot sauce, which often contain added sodium. Even side dishes like pickles, pickled vegetables, olives, and sauerkraut can contribute significantly to sodium intake. Making these dietary changes, though relatively straightforward, can have a significant positive impact on one's health, according to Dr. Lu Chi. So there you have it, the scoop on salt and its potential impact on your health. We hope you found this information as eye-opening as we did. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more health-related insights. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.